I will tell you, Dana Marie, they're, uh, they're my champion in my bracket already. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Of course, you can't be a Zag <laughs> fan, in my opinion, and not put them as the number one uh, all the way to the top. I was a senior when they made it to the national championship, um, and watching that loss was pretty heart-wrenching, so I think they're going to make it up to me this year. <laughs> well, of course, you know, everybody always wants to know the best way to pick out a March Madness bracket. So whether you're filling out your bracket for an office pool, whether you have a group of friends and family, there really is no perfect strategy to pick that always guaranteed to win bracket, but there are plenty of numbers that can give you an edge over the competition this March. The NCAA Basketball Championship has been an annual tradition since 1939, expanding to 64 teams in 1985. The bracket is now divided into four quadrants, with teams ranked from 1 all the way to 16. One seeds play the 16 seeds, two seeds play the 15 seeds, threes play the 14s, and so on. Speaking of ones versus 16s, a 16 seeded team has only toppled a one seed one time out of 140 matchups. So tip number one, don't get cute. Pick ones to beat the 16s in the first round. But this is a tournament of craziness and upsets. So tip number two, don't pick all of the one seeds to make your final four. That has only happened one time in 2008. And statistics show your best bet is picking one or two one seeds to make it into your final four. So throw in a little bit of chaos along the way. Tip number three, let yourself pick some upsets. They're called Cinderella teams for a reason. Picking only the higher seed to win every game might feel comfortable at first, but in a five versus 12 and six versus 11 and seven versus 10 matchups, the underdogs statistically win a third of the time. So in those matchups, you can feel comfortable picking three to five upsets to move past the first round of games. And a team seeded five or lower has made it into the final four each of the past five years. So if you believe in your upset pick, don't be afraid to predict a surprise three or four game win streak for them. But while madness and chaos make the week's long tournament fun, they don't always lead to champions. So tip number four, control your chaos. The lowest seed to ever win a championship was an eight seed. There's only been one seven seed champion, one six seed champion, zero five seed champions, and one four seed champion. So our final tip, have fun. Whether it's your first time or your 40th time, let yourself enjoy the fact that we have a March Madness tournament again this year. Talk a little trash. Enjoy a game or a team you wouldn't normally watch and enjoy the spirit of one of America's favorite sporting events. Because the odds of picking a perfect bracket are one in more than 9.2 quintillion. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. But the odds of enjoying this year's March Madness, if you choose to get involved, well, that's about as close to a sure thing as you're gonna find this March. All right, so now is the time to fill out those brackets. A perfect bracket, of course, will win you one million dollars. And if you beat our sports, uh, excuse me, sports director Brenna Green, you can win free pizza from Papa Murphy's. What? Yeah. <laughs> so just text the word bracket to 509-448-2000 and we'll send it right to your phone. Uh, yeah, guess who's going to really take time to fill out his bracket today? You're going down, Brenna. <laughs> <laughs> Joshua, I learned so much from that. Thank you so much for putting that together. Oh my gosh. All right. I'm going to need a little bit of help from you, though, for my so, bracket. Can I tell you one of my most successful brackets I've had over the past few years? Yeah. I just asked my mom who the picks should be. So even though the statistics show that there is a lot of data you can use to maybe win your office pool, try to beat Brenna, there is also a lot of craziness, too. So you never know. It could just be hog wild. Uh, I just go off teams I like and That's don't right. like. I'm like, ugh. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, so anyway, you know, no other team in the Big Ten other than Wisconsin advances. I'm like, nope, <laughs> you guys are all out. It doesn't really work. So, it's, hey, if it works, it works, right? Yeah, right.